Now, it is a Class C drug, but ketamine is triggering new health fears after increasing numbers of young users are being left with irreversible bladder damage. Channel 4 News has seen figures that show a rise in the number of people being treated by urologists and some have had to have their bladders removed. You might find some of the detail in Cordelia Lynch's report disturbing. This is ketamine, also known as K. It's a tranquilizer. You may not have seen it before, but you won't be far from it. It's illegal and it started as a party drug. It's about half the price of cocaine, it's popular and it's on the rise. But so too are the number of young bodies being irreversibly changed by it. It was tearing my bladder to shreds. I was weighing out blood, bits of jelly, but I still carried on. The authorities are struggling to contain it. It's massive. I'd say it's more sociable than having going down the pub and having a pint. And surgeons are dealing with the severe side effects on users' bladders. I've taken three bladders out since Christmas. We've come to Bristol, which is now on the front line of tackling the drug. It's been described as the drug of choice for this generation, and its rapid rise in popularity has seen it spread to cities and towns around the country, including here in Bristol. It started largely as a party drug, but it's become a daily habit for some, and only in the past few years has its devastating effects been realised. This young woman is 21. She's just had her bladder removed, replaced with part of her bowel. Many in her position end up with a catheter for life. She doesn't want to be identified because she's trying to get back into work. She started taking ketamine at raves. I do anything between about 10 and 15 grams a night. And why did you like it? How did it make you feel? The best way of describing it is it makes you feel wonky, drunk, but the effect is instant. After four years of what are known as K cramps, she needed major surgery. I was in severe pain. I couldn't work. I couldn't walk. I was cramped over, running to the toilet every five minutes. And when I realised that having my bladder removed was the only option, it was devastating. This is the surgeon who treated her. He's operated on 35 patients in the past year alone. Just explain exactly what ketamine does to the bladder. Well, ketamine's a drug that's usually snorted. It's absorbed into the circulation and ketamine or it's byproducts are then secreted in the urine. If you get enough of it in the urine, it starts to uh, affect the bladder wall. Initially, it looks rather inflamed, maybe slightly ulcerated. Uh, I've seen ones that have been so bad that the bladder wall's almost falling off, like a, like, a, like, a, like a curtain almost coming away from the, from, the, from the side wall. Doctors have only recently made the connection between ketamine and bladder damage. Some still find it hard to identify. But Channel 4 News has been given figures that show a rise in the number of ketamine users reporting bladder problems in three cities. In Bristol, in the past 12 months, surgeons have seen 25 ketamine cases. That's an increase of more than 90%. In Leeds, 24 users have been referred to urologists, a 50% increase on the previous year. And in London, 75% of those who make it to the club drug clinic show symptoms of bladder problems. But medical professionals fear it is just the tip of the iceberg. Many more aren't seeking help. At the Bristol Drugs Project, John was the only person to turn up. He told us he was a former user. I would say that most ketamine users would not class themselves as drug addicts or definitely not hard drug users. They wouldn't ever associate themselves with, say, heroin users or crack cocaine users. He too suffered from K cramps caused by a drug that cruelly creates and masks the pain. What did you do to try and stop it? Um, at the time, probably take ketamine. The drug isn't physically addictive, but ketamine communities have emerged. It just becomes such a social thing um, that's it's taken over, basically. I'd rather sit at home um, and stay with friends using it than go and socialise out with public and meet new people. It becomes reclusive. 
and it's become a major issue for the government. It's still only a Class C drug, and there are calls for it to be reclassified. A group of independent experts is due to advise the Home Office on ketamine by the end of the year. It's hoped the review will reveal just how rife and risky the drug is. But surgeons already believe we're only just beginning to see what it's capable of.